I was involved with coaching the Exeter Girls rowing team many years ago uh, to win the New England Championships. It's a rowing race. It's very big. It's pretty hard to win. And I've been involved with the training period right at the start. But as the season went on, I was back in Australia. The girls kept on calling me saying, well, we haven't won, you know, we did all that work with you and we haven't won any races. We keep, you know, we just get places and, you know, we thought we'd be winning. And I said to them, hang on, you told me you wanted to win the New England Championships. You didn't tell me you wanted to win every race of the season. So what did you want? And they said, we want to win the New England Championships. And I said, well, until you've won it or lost it, this is all silly discussion or silly distractions. So one morning, 6 a.m., Sunday morning, I think it was, I get a phone call. Ah, everyone's going berserk. They've won the New England Championships. And I asked them to relay how it happened. And they said, yeah, we're all in the boat. And, and there's a feeling you get, when all rowers are in time, there's a feeling you get. The whole boat sort of lifts and, and picks up a pace that you couldn't have gotten any other way unless everyone's exactly the right timing. And they said they saw the other boats around them and had this awareness, it's happening because they've been preparing for it for so long. And it happened. And there was two things that happened then. There was one, everybody was completely focused on the one goal and everybody knew it was their time and they'd been thinking about preparing for a long time. But two, they'd also been thinking about how they wanted to be in the boat and what dynamic they wanted to have between each other. And when they're rowing, they're all looking for that. Come on, let's get in time. Let's get in time to lift the boat to that extra speed that's only available when we're all in perfect harmony. Now, in a, in a business, the same rules apply that there needs to be that place we're heading for, to or that, that goal we're trying to achieve, but there's also got to be the way that we want to all perform together. What is it that we're trying to achieve? How are we trying to be so that we can uh, unleash that ability and, and achieve that talent? And sometimes those are in metrics in the workplace, like budgets and KPIs and the like. And sometimes they're in, how would we rate our team dynamic out of 100 and tests like that? But what we've got to be aware of is there's many distractions and things that aren't actually relevant to the end product. And that's where you don't, don't get caught up in those thinking that's performance. So for example, if somebody knocks off a little early, go, they didn't work eight hours. Well, that's not directly linked. The girls are like, oh, we didn't win that race. It's not directly linked. So be very clear, whatever KPIs you've got and, and whatever targets you've got and whatever way you want the team to be, Make sure that's what the discussion's about and don't get caught up in whether or not they work late or whether or not they're wearing their, their tie right and all that nonsense. Those things need to be done, but don't get caught up in it. Make sure you're caught up in the final outcome and how we want to perform together to ensure that we can deliver that outcome at exactly the right time.